stretching day. A bit of a technical walkthrough just to show the kind of stuff that we look at when we're doing this. So they're, we're going to be refreshing all the gardens. There's a few of them. They're big. Um, we're going to be bringing in mulch and adding in about three inches to give the garden some more organic matter. But what that means is that there's already so much soil, we need at least a three inch release around these edges. So we'll, doing, we'll be doing that today in preparation, all of the edging. So which means we're also removing some material, not doing a whole lot of pruning of anything, just getting rid of all of the weeds all of the debris that's left around, cleaning all of this out. And the same sort of thing here, where you need to give at least a, you know, a couple of inches of release, deeper if possible. This is what we'll be doing here. Pulling all of this back, um, removing whatever material we need to, to give this a good release all the way around so that when we add in the mulch, it has somewhere to go and forms a really nice solid border. These gardens are a little more extensive. There's a lot of weeds going on. We actually have the plans for this so we can see what all the plants are. We're gonna be doing the same thing, reestablishing the edge and getting rid of all of this weed material, all of the dead material. Anything that looks like it's not part of the original plan, we will be removing. Not doing a pruning on anything right now because everything is just starting to come into full growth and flower and bud so we're not gonna shock the plants by cutting them at this time we're gonna be doing that later in the summer late summer so we'll be weeding all of this out preparing the edges and then over here <coughs> same thing but what we're also dealing with is the same situation where there's some spots where there is no edge and there's no depth to the edge so we can't really add anything without it spilling over so we need to prepare this entire edge e evenly some spots are a little lower but that doesn't do us any good if we're adding in three inches of mulch to give this whole thing a really good um, base for moisture retention and also some organic matter as the mulch breaks down. It provides organic matter and nutrients to the plants. Put a good clean up, you can see here, no edge at all. So this will all be established. We'll be doing all the prep on this today, all the clean up, all the debris removal. Then we are going to come in a few days from now after the rain has stopped. This is after four hours of preparation, getting everything nice and bordered with a good edge so that we can put in the right amount of mulch. We removed a whole truckload full of old mulch and debris. So now if you take a look, you can see there's a really good edge. A lot of gardening upkeep is about edges and then these ones completely cleaned out all the weeds removed cleaned up all the debris but also re-established the nice tall edge on all of this when we come in Tuesday. Looks fantastic, but it'll look even better. We still got to even out some areas. And then we did the same thing around here and the root system for our cedars is so close to the surface that we exposed some, but there wasn't actually a decent edge on this. So we had to do something. We're gonna finish it off when we come in on Tuesday. So that's all cleaned out. And because it's always about the little things, like edges around where most people wouldn't see a lot of the time. But also, coming over this way, making sure that this stuff is not just going to spill, or the mulch won't just spill over the edge. Made sure there's a good depth on this one.